Good morning everyone, it is Wednesday and it's you in here with the Hump Day Rant and today we got a special episode. I have one of my best friends, Erin Bradley here. Not only is she one of the best loan officers in the entire country, she is an accomplished author. Here's her book, Pursuing Freedom, and she's going to do her own little rant today about what that means to her and... Take it away, Erin. All right. Thank you, Ewan, for having me as your featured special guest. I'm, I'm so excited to be yeah. here. This is so fun. And, um, yeah, I'm kind of famous, you know, kind of a big deal. I heard a book. But, you know, we can still well, hang out you with are. friends. You know, so, I'm, I'm, not, I'm on that list now that is just like, well, yeah, he's, he was there yeah. and stuff. So. I knew you when. You knew me when. Yeah. Um, all right. So um, one of the things I want to talk about today is something that's near and dear to my heart and something I'm super passionate about which is um, this concept of how you can go out every single day and intend to give more value than you ever hope to receive in return. And it's applicable to business, but I think it's also applicable to life in general. And so I did a little stick figure drawing here to give you some visuals, just in case you need a little help following along here. But um, here's you, or in this case me, and here's everyone I meet, or everyone you meet on a daily basis. And if the goal is to give value, what does that mean? It means that if I'm in a funk in the morning and I wake up and I'm kind of dreading the day, I think to myself over and over and over again, I intend to give value to every person I meet. I intend to give value to every person I meet. Why? Because every person in their core enjoys helping others. It's something that fills you up is when you know that you've made somebody's day. It's, it's, it's joy. So how do we apply that to our life and our business? Well, It's like that go-giver attitude that you yes. and I live by, you know, our, one of our favorite books, The Go-Giver, that's what we've always had that mindset about. Right. Give, 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 give. Always give before you ever ask for anything in return. Yep. So, awesome. so when I met Ewan back in 2010, 2011, he gave me the book he's always talking about, The Go-Giver, and it is an amazing book. And both of us decided to apply that to our business in real estate. And we started really marketing ourselves to our clients and friends as the Yellow Pages. So the goal was, you know, folks only need us as a realtor or a lender typically every three to five years. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, I always say, mortgages are not sexy. So I'm not going to talk to my clients about interest rates. That depends if you're doing them or not, Adam. Come on. <laughs> well, thank you. So like, you know, we got to find another way to engage and be able to provide value. So what that looks like is we're constantly seeking out trusted local service providers that we can utilize and have in our back pocket to be a resource to our clients when they need anything. And so from the very beginning of working together, we've always told our clients, if you need anything, whether it's health and wellness, contractors, um, financial help, anything you need, think of us as the Yellow Pages. If we don't have that resource, we will seek it out and we will build a relationship with someone to the point that we can trust them enough to refer them to the people that we care about. And it's become the core of our business and really what I found is that as we started to implement this strategy, it comes so naturally when you're just seeking out what's going on with you, what else is going on, what's going on with you personally, professionally, etc. And how do I help you solve problems above and beyond what I get paid to do for my job? So the thing that I really enjoy about it the most is that this strategy comes very easily and feels very authentic. And I had a really hard time with sales when I first got into yeah. the business. And I've always Nobody said, wants to hear you talking about, right. you know, who needs a mortgage or who needs to sell right. their house. Like that, you don't want to be known for that. And this is the way around that, is right. to be that value add. Yeah, and I've always said that I don't think the majority of people are born salespeople. Most folks are taking that chance to become a business owner and become self-employed because they're passionate about what they do. They're passionate about their craft. And they love what they do, but that doesn't mean that selling it comes easily. So this is about changing the conversation giving you a voice that comes naturally to say, I just want to help people. Yep. That's literally my goal every single day. How can I help you? And the mortgages or whatever your product and service is actually just comes as a byproduct. Yep. When you go out there every day and you just intend to help people, you cannot fail. You literally cannot fail with this strategy. So um, I appreciate you having me on the show today and having you as a partner in crime throughout this whole journey. You're amazing, and you're amazing. And thanks so much, Erin. Everybody, go and buy her book on Amazon or download it. It's, a, it's not a huge book. It's an easy read, but the, the message in this is unbelievable, and it's something that I take with me every day, and I think everybody that reads this book is going to be the better for it. So, Erin, keep up the game. 
keep up being amazing and thanks so much thank you bye